welcome. Thank you for joining us, taking your time. Thank you, you love Atlanta now, right? I love Atlanta. I've loved Atlanta since the day I came here. I mean, I've been coming, I've been working in Atlanta. I'm going to sound like an old man. <laughs> um, I've been working here since 96. I was, when I was a model, I had clients here and I used to come here all the time. Plus, it's a straight shot from New York or New Orleans where I lived. Um, and uh, yeah, man, I've had a lot of fun in this town. But coming back here now, I mean, we've been here for four years. This is my home. Um, and I, Atlanta's a huge city. It's a lot of fun. There's a culinary revolution that's happening here. There's wildly progressive people. There's amazing food. There's amazing music. There's amazing, it's, it's everything. I mean, it's a, a city of six million people. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, if you look at the city of Los Angeles, the actual city of Los Angeles is 3.9 million. Wow. And obviously not the county, which is considered the greater Los Angeles area, but the city of Atlanta is bigger than the city of Los Angeles. Definitely a lot of diversity here, too. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's talk a little bit about the Vampire Diaries. Four years down, we're going into season five. What are you most looking forward to this season? You know, one, one really amazing thing about this season, um, as I stand here looking like uh, a cross between Johnny Reese Myers and Jim Morrison, but trying to look like Henry VIII, um, I think, not even I think, let me rephrase that. I know this season feels a lot more like the first season of the show. And when I go back and watch the first season of the show, I am transported back to this really phenomenal experience where the storytelling was just... We were flying by the seat of our pants every day, every episode, every take. And it yielded a really interesting product. Um, and this, and it was all of our favorites. I think, save for Paul, pretty much, because Stefan was just so heady in that season. But we're going back to that this year. And our writing team is just on it. And our production team and our both director of photography that we have, both of those guys are so dialed in. It's, it's dark again, telling story with not just words, but with light and music. And we're, I think this is really gonna be one of the best seasons of the show and, and um, great possibilities, you know? It's not just, just Stefan or just Damon, it's Stefan and Silas and Catherine and this and that. And there's, a lot, there's a lot of dynamic and I'm excited about it. Wow. I mean, I may sound subdued, just because I've been up since 5 <laughs> o'clock this morning, but I am excited about it. What's your favorite bar part been about playing Damon Salvatore? Did you almost just say, what's your favorite bar? I think bar. that was a well, Freudian slip. What's your favorite bar? I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> um, what's my favorite part? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you once we cut. Okay. <laughs> um, my favorite part of what? Playing Damon Salvatore as a character. Everybody else has gotten to play doppelgangers, and Paul's getting to play Silas this season. What's your favorite part about playing Damon? He's probably one of the more complex characters of the show. Damon is a blast. Um, even when Damon is pining and being a whiny little baby, he's still a blast. Um, I wouldn't change it for the world and, and I, I wouldn't I wouldn't change I wouldn't change very much about Damon. I'm very fortunate to be able to play this this guy and he's a wildly he's a wildly complex guy. Um, he thinks a lot, that Damon. And but he also getting over Catherine and going to all these places, you know, Damon has experienced an immense amount of pain in his life and <clears throat> we all use humor as a band-aid and a medicine for pain, and Damon is no exception to that rule. He uses it <clears throat> not so sparingly. I mean, he uses it a lot. And so it makes him just really fun, and it makes him, you know, <clears throat> Damon, excuse me, Damon's the guy that, again, you know, and I've said this before, but it really sums him up. Damon is the guy who has the same look on his face, whether he's saving a kitten out of a tree or ripping your throat out. He's that guy, you know. He can see them as one and the same. It's the same thing. Hey, it's Sunday morning. Let me get this kid out of the tree. Hey, let me rip your face off. It's just Damon. And he loves with reckless abandon, fierce loyalty. He's a wildly loyal brother. He's a loyal boyfriend. He's a loyal... He's just loyal. And I think there's something to be said for that. He'll screw you over in a heartbeat if he needs to, but it will be for someone he loves. Not because, oh, I want that car or that house or that 
He'll do it out of love. Everything he does is out of love. So I think that that, it's cool. I like that about him. I love that about him when I'm, I don't like it. I love it. What parts of Damon do you see most in yourself, or are you just completely unlike him? No, I'm a lot like Damon, or I should rephrase it. Damon's a lot like me. Um, no, it goes both ways. I mean, you know, look, art imitates life in ways that it's just crazy. Um, the writers are very dialed into who we are, and how we operate, and, and what they want out of us as far as character-wise, but... I know a lot about what it's like to be alone. I know what it's like to fight with my brother. I know what it's like to be in love. I know what it's like to be in pain. I know what it's like to have fun. I know what it's like to have to find the bright side of things. A lot like Damon. Um, I don't like maniacally killing people anymore, personally, like Damon does, but there are a lot of similarities. There's a lot of congruence, a lot of consistency with where I am in my life and what Damon's life is like on the screen and vice versa. A lot. <laughs> and so it makes for a very interesting ride. I mean, these writers know us better than we know ourselves sometimes. So sometimes they give us laughs and sometimes they stick it to us. But either way, it's a lot of times it's, it's cathartic, it's funny, sometimes it's sad. And uh, it's a roller coaster ride, much like life. Yeah. Hey, uh, do you think Damon's relationship with Elena has helped or hindered him? I think she's taught him to grow um, as a living, breathing, loving being. I think his love for her definitely got him into a lot of bad choices or bad decisions. But again, he does everything out of love. It's not, it could be deemed as selfish, but he wants... He wants the best for her, and he's a lot older than her, so he thinks he knows everything. But what he needs to do is just let her grow um, and make her own decisions, make her own mistakes, make her own triumphs. Um, we've asked everybody what they think draws the fans most to the Vampire Diaries, and everybody has said, Ian, what do you think draws the fans most to the Vampire Diaries? I... That, that's extremely sweet. I think these people have been drinking a lot. I know it's early. I think there's, this show has so much heart. We're really looking forward to season five. I know I am personally as a fan. And yeah, no, we're, we're excited. Wait. We're excited. And I want to build our <clears throat> viewership. Paul Wesley just told me that I think Arrow is ahead of us in ratings. That ain't, that's not going to that's not going to happen anymore. <laughs> Do you wear your daylight ring everywhere you go? Um, when I take it from set, they freak out. Oh. Sometimes I accidentally take it. They didn't give it to you? Um, no, they didn't. When I leave the show, I will get one. That will, you will take that one. Um, well, thank you so much. Thank you so Over much. You. This fall, the blood will flow. You might try to dial down your glee. Thursday, October 3rd, the night that raised the stakes is back. Make yourself right at home. The season premiere of The Vampire Diaries, followed by the delicious new series, The Originals. Quite an operation. Don't miss a single bite. That would be tragic. The season premiere of The Vampire Diaries, followed by a special premiere event of The Originals. Thursday, October 3rd on The CW.